What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to solve this trick equation. This trick equation says 2 sine squared minus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0 and theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So the first thing I need to solve this quadratic equation, I'm going to use factory method, AC method, 2 times negative 1, it's going to be negative 2. And the coefficient here is negative 1, so it means that we need to look for two numbers, multiply to negative 2 and add to negative 1. So basically these two numbers are going to be negative 2 and positive 1. So negative 2 and positive 1, when you multiply is negative 2, and when you add them is negative 1. Then I come here and rearrange this equation. It will be 2 sine squared theta. Instead of negative sine theta, I will write negative 2 sine theta plus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then I will have group factoring 2 sine squared theta minus 2 sine theta. I factor 2 sine theta. That will be sine theta minus 1 plus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then I factor sine theta minus 1. Here that will be 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. That's how we factor that. Now two expressions, the multiplication of two expressions is 0. So it means that either this expression is 0 or this expression equals to 0. So therefore I can write both of them sine theta minus 1 equals to 0 or 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. If sine theta minus 1 equals to 0, sine theta will be 1. So it means that theta will be pi over 2. Why? Because sine pi over 2, it will be 1. So between 0 and 2 pi, we have only one answer for this question. Here I have 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. If you, I want to isolate it for sine theta, I need to bring this 1 to this side, which becomes negative 1. Negative 1 over 2, it's going to be negative half. So it's going to be theta equals to It's going to be a number in quadrant 3 and also quadrant 4, based on the cast rule must be between 3 in quadrant 3 and also quadrant 4. So two answers I have. So if it's sine theta equals to positive 1 over 2, the theta will be pi over 6. Here, quadrant 3 is going to be something pi plus theta. And here, in quadrant 4, is going to be 2 pi minus theta. So theta is pi over 6. It's going to be pi plus pi over 6. The other answer is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 6. Why did I use pi over 6? Because we know sine pi over 6 will be positive 1 over 2 in quadrant 1. Theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So the answers are going to be pi over 2, pi plus pi over 6, 2 pi minus pi over 6, which will be pi over 2. That will be 6 over 6, 7 pi over 6. And here we have 12 pi over 6. 12 minus 1 is going to be 11 pi over 6. So we have these three answers to this question. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave some more examples and related videos in the description. If you're interested to have more examples and need more practice questions, you can take a look to the description. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You have access to many other videos regarding math and science. Thank you for watching and have a great day.